is a very important question in astrology which many people will ask and maybe you also have this question and many times people do not find clear answers to this these questions so today we will try to answer this question what is exactly sun sign what is exactly moon sign and what is the difference how do you how do you know that how they are functioning in your horoscope because they say that the dispositor of sun which means the lord of the sign where sun is placed that that planet is the indicator of your success your name fame and your existence and the dispositor of your moon which means the lord of the sign where your moon is placed that is an indication of your happiness why do they say that so for example suppose your sun is in capricorn then saturn is the planet which will show your success in name and fame and suppose your moon is in scorpio then mars is the planet that will show your happiness why do they say that that is what we will try to see today so if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding your sun sign or moon sign or anything else any area of your life then you could go down to the description section of this video you will find my website there and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now what sun is and yes before i begin i will always say that this is a general video and the things which i say here will not apply to the 7 billion people so if you think that what i am saying is completely the opposite of who you are depending on your horoscope then that's perfectly fine you don't have to uh, feel that you are not able to understand me because everybody's sun will be in a sign conjunct some planet or in a particular nakshatra and in a particular degree in a particular navamsha yes aspected by some benefic or some malefic and sun and moon will rule particular houses in your horoscope depending on your ascendant so all the 7 billion people they will have different meanings of their sun sign and moon sign even if there are only 12 zodiac signs so you don't have to generalize like this all right but you can get a broad outlook by understanding this so what is the sun basically sun represents that concept inside you which tells that you do not need god you are all powerful you can stay all by yourself you are all in all <laughs> that's what the sun is why do they say that sun is a malefic planet in fact in my opinion it's the worst malefic it is millions and billions and trillions of times more malefic than saturn rahu ketu mars combined why because sun is the origin of everything when i say everything i do not mean all the bad things i mean anything in general because sun is the ego now ego does not mean oh he is an egoistic person look the way he speaks that's not what ego is that is a tamasic form of the expression of ego that's in the mode of ignorance arrogance that is but ego generally means the word identification and there are many words used uh, especially in the shrimad bhagavatam for referring to this so there's a word which is known as chit so chit means pure consciousness sat chit anand the soul is actually full of knowledge and eternity and bliss sat chit anand but now what happens in this material world the soul thinks and identifies himself with bodies any body human body woman's body man's body cat's body dog's body and then that chit becomes chitta <laughs> sanskrit is very intricate one thing changes and the whole meaning changes so chit and chitta it's not chitta that's double a confusing <laughs> so 
chit becomes chitta so that's what the sun is so the soul who has forgotten god coming to this material world thinks that he or she own something in this material world which means i might think oh this apartment is mine i am somebody's son i am somebody's mother father husband wife some somebody somebody or somebody to somebody <laughs> i have a degree from this college i have that i have this job i have this youtube channel i have that many subscribers so sun represents the concept inside us which tells that we must have our own unique independent existence away from god where we do not need god it's it's to some extent like atheism basically why because sun is an indicator of that feeling which tells you inside that you are all powerful you are like god basically so you don't need god so then what happens we strive to make an independent existence in this world and that is where all the problem starts because we go away from sat chit ananda remember the original nature of the soul and then the soul suffers actually the soul never suffers but the soul identifies himself with matter and that is why the soul suffers it's like suppose you have a car but you are not the car and somebody goes and breaks your car then you will feel pain right you will feel a lot of pain you may cry also now they, that person is not touching you but why are you feeling that pain because you are identifying with that car so that's what happens that is what the sun is so basically sun represents the conception to the extent which you want to manifest an empire externally in this world empire means anything that you control everybody everybody is a king actually to be honest i am the king of this room maybe <laughs> i can do whatever i want i am the king for my clothes i can wear them i can throw them i can burn them i can donate them whatever i want i can do i am the king for my mobile now when we say he is a king or she is a king it means that they are the king of a big empire you know millions of people could be but individually everybody is a king everybody has some power or some control to some extent so the sign where sun is placed that sign will tell and yes now you may be wondering my sun sign is this my moon sign is that what will happen so you can go to my astrology basics playlist and you can watch the videos on zodiac signs the 12 zodiac signs all right so by that you will know to some extent what your sun sign and what your moon sign could be so the sun sign will mean those activities of the zodiac sign which when you do you feel lively you feel that you are somebody in this universe you feel that you exist is it understood <laughs> you exist you think that you are a king your conception that you own something gets reinstantiated again when you perform activities related to that zodiac sign where your sun is placed and the the dignity of that planet so for example sun is in sagittarius for example somebody is born between december 15 to january 15 so then jupiter is the dispositor because jupiter is the ruler of the sign sagittarius so jupiter the placement and the dignity of jupiter will tell you to what extent that kingdom will manifest because your definition of a kingdom will come from the traits of sagittarius and sagittarius is controlled by jupiter so to the degree jupiter is well placed to that degree or the house where jupiter is the nakshatra where jupiter is these things will tell you how your fame will manifest because when you say that that person is having name and fame that means what his empire is big enough that everybody notices him or her that's what is name and fame basically now everybody has some name fame to some extent 
everybody is known to some extent you know in the friend circle or in the relatives but when we say somebody is famous that means their kingdom is so big that there are many 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 people who notice them so that is what the sun sign represents and now what's moon moon is the planet which reflects the light of the sun so this means the sign where moon is placed now see what exactly moon is moon represents as i said sun represents the empire moon is a planet that represents how do you feel about your empire suppose i have a big uh, home multi million dollar penthouse but then i don't feel good there due to some reason or the other then the entire penthouse is waste but suppose i have a very small home and you know i have like a very small family husband a wife or you know mother father you know one or two kids are there but suppose i am very happy there so then i feel great so the sun and moon complements each other so people say oh my sun is here my moon is there i am confused you are confused because you do not know how to read that so the moon will tell you to what extent you are feeling that you are a part of that kingdom which you are in or which you think you are in and that is why the dispositor of moon that means suppose as i said moon is in scorpio then mars will tell you the dignity of mars the placement of mars they will tell you to what extent the conception of happiness is there to what extent you feel that your kingdom is worth living that is what the moon is if now for example suppose they say na moon is debilitated in scorpio why why do they say because scorpio is the sign of fear now of course there are many people who will have moon in scorpio it does not mean that everybody is moon is debilitated from 0 to 3 degrees only but on a broader spectrum why do they say moon is debilitated in scorpio because now of course if mars is very well placed then the effects of a debilitated moon can be reduced it can be mitigated to a large extent but for example why do they say that moon is debilitated in scorpio because when moon is in scorpio if the other placements of the horoscope supports it supports in the by supporting i mean that if they are also weak or they are also negative then it can happen that the person's conception of the kingdom is based out of fear because scorpio is the sign of fear is the original eighth sign of the zodiac it's based on insecurity imagine living in a place 24 hours you are insecure oh maybe they will throw me out of here maybe i will lose that person i will lose him i will lose her i will lose this i will lose that that is why moon gets debilitated there because it's terrible to live in a kingdom where you are insecure always because the purpose the agenda of the kingdom is to give you happiness so that is why moon gets debilitated there but suppose moon is in any other sign for example sagittarius then the sign where the, the dignity of jupiter will tell you to what extent the happiness will manifest again as i said to know the zodiac signs you have to go to the basics playlist and watch uh, my videos on the signs but this is an example so now suppose uh, somebody's sun is not well placed or you know the dispositor of sun is not well placed but somebody's moon is well placed or the dispositor of moon it is well placed then what can happen is there will be a difficulty in having an existence in this outer realm that means if you try to have an impact on the society then you could find you could uh, face challenges you could face reversals but even if those reverse reversals are there you still feel that the world is worth living the kingdom is still good 
although the kingdom is small but it's still good but suppose things related to the sun are extremely well placed and things related to the moon are very badly placed or moon is afflicted then how much ever big your kingdom is how much ever influence you have on people that is why you see sometimes big 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 people they have so much fan following they have so much money name fame status billions and trillions of times more than anybody can get even they commit suicide why i can give names here but i don't want to waste time we all know so many people who have committed suicide in the past why because that is why they say that a weak moon is an indicator of somebody who uh, can commit suicide why do they say that they don't say that a weak sun is an indicator of somebody who can commit suicide because how much ever big their kingdom is irrespective of the sun they will always feel that my life is terrible this kingdom is not worth living and if moon is well placed then however the kingdom is it is always worth living and that is why the moon sign is much more important than the sun sign that is why they say that the moon is the most important planet in astrology so if you want to know how to make a person happy just check where moon is which planets are affecting the moon so if moon is badly placed it's like saying bad things make you happy that's something very difficult <laughs> that it's like saying good things don't give you happiness but if moon is you know well aspected by jupiter or mercury or venus or it is with all these benefits then it's like saying you like good things good things give you happiness and that's great because good things should make you happy ultimately right but if moon is spoiled it is smashed or if it is in a very difficult dignity hemmed between two malefics then it's like saying good things are not that great in life even if there are good things then you you still cannot see you will always find the you will always look down and you will find faults example saturn saturn if you read the text he is always downward facing so if moon is linked with saturn in a sign ruled by saturn like capricorn or aquarius depending on the whole chart of course or it is conjunct or aspected by saturn then you'll see sometimes these people depending on the whole chart of course these people till the time they do not look down they are not negative till the time they are not negative they, they, they don't feel life is good enough now of course that's uh, you you can't say that's a terrible thing to happen or a very bad thing but that's how the mind behaves some first you have to find some fault you have to do some criticism then you will believe it hopefully <laughs> so that is why they say moon chandra chandrama is the chandrama manaso jata that shloka is there it's very 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 important because if moon and the moon sign and the dispositor of moon is well placed then even if sun or the sun sign or you know the dispositor of sun is not that great you will still feel very good but if it's the other way around i already told you what big people do sometimes all right so that is what is sun sign that is what is moon moon sign <laughs> all right so if you want to know more about your sun sign your moon sign or any other area in your life uh from me then you could go down to my website to book a reading you will find the link in the description section below okay and if you're new then like comment share and subscribe and share this video with somebody who is asking always what is sun sign what is moon sign all right and what's the difference between the two there you go god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him through your sun sign and through your moon sign okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye